So today I'm back up here at the old Ford. And I'm just going to give you a heads up. I'm going to do a cold start to it, but I want to talk about two things really quick before we get started. So the first one is down below in the comments. Just let me know what you want to see. If you want to see more of this truck. Or now we finally got some snow. I'm going to be riding sleds. I've got a truck motor I should work on. I've got a sled motor I should work on. I'll probably make a, one or two videos about everything, but if you let me know down below what you really want to see, I will lean more towards that. So that's the first thing, pretty quick and easy. The second thing is, real quick, I want to talk about high boy trucks. So high boys, so high boy is usually a term that you see on Craigslist. You know, they'll list a 79 Ford and it's a high boy. You know, and they'll be asking half a million dollars for the thing because they think it's this wicked cool, you know, factory lifted truck. So today I'm going to clear that up real fast. So they have a checklist of things to look for to see if your truck is a high boy. Oh, we got some sleds going by right here. I can't see him. Oh, there he goes. Oh, two of them. Got some Polarises, I guess I can't. Anyway, this camera's kind of crappy for filming like this, but. So the first thing is, you've got a divorce transfer case. See that? Transfer case is powered by its own little tiny dry shaft. Then you get the four wheel drive drive shaft and then the rear drive shaft. So that's the first thing is the divorce transfer case. Now, while I'm down here on the ground, I will crawl to the back and show you the next, well, the next three things really. So the next thing is a high boy has four inch blocks in the back. I, th I think these actually, if you put a tape measure on them, are even slightly over four inches. But that's the next thing. Some rubbish going on there. But yeah, so you've got four inch blocks in the back. Also, don't know if I can really show it from this angle. The rear leaf springs are two and a quarter inches wide. So it's got pretty skinny leaf springs on it that are two and a quarter inches. So they're skinny, but they're thick and there's a lot of them. Now, the last thing, or kind of two last things that go together for a high boy is back here. There's no rear gas tank because the frame is too narrow for it to fit. And I don't have a tape measure, but I think it's like 33 and a half inches or something like that. And the F100s and F150s and everything else are a little bit wider normally. So just to show you, this truck is all roached out, but it's got wide leaf springs and I'm not climbing down under this thing, but it just has a little, a little like maybe a two inch block under the rear. And I guess I'm not climbing under that thing. This thing actually is the full time four wheel drive truck, but it's not divorced. So yeah, there's supposed to be, it's got the narrow frame, so it's supposed to be no rear fuel tank. This is an LMC truck bed, so it come with the thing on it, it doesn't exactly fit perfectly. I don't know if I can show the bed, but yeah, you see back there how there's like a half inch gap between the bed there. It doesn't quite fit perfectly, it needs some shims or something. So on a high boy truck, it'll either have the gas tank here or in the cab or both. So those are the basic checklists of how to look for a high boy truck. But there's one other truck 
that has all these same things. And that's a 1967 through a 1977 F-250. That's all it is. A high boy is just a 1967 through 1977 F-250 four wheel drive. And that is it. There's no factory lifted. There's no F-150 high boy. You know, the only reason it has the four inch blocks is just to make it level, I guess the way it sets with the uh, leaf springs on the front axle instead of coil springs. It just needed to be, it sat higher in the front so they needed to pick it up more in the back. A lot of people say they put the divorce transfer case in, it hung too low and they needed to, no, it's just the way everything worked out. That that's the three quarter ton truck from 1967 to 1977. So in 77 and a half, they changed them a little bit. And I, I think it was used in like a, like a 1980 or 81 JC Whitney catalog. They used the term high boy to state between the 77 and prior F-250 and the 78 and a half to 79 F-250. So that's your quick lesson on high boy. So if you see an ad for, you know, any even an f-250 and it says high boy in it they're just like hoping that you think high boy is cool so they can get more money all it is is an f-250 this right here is a 73 f-250 it's a high boy but it's not factory four inch lifted or anything like that it sat up high from the factory and then i went and put a four inch lift in it because i'm dumb but i'm going to be taking that out this spring so if you know anyone who's interested in a four inch lift for one of these trucks, I might have one for you this spring. When I get a little bit steadier cash flow, I'm gonna start doing a lot of work to this truck. Right now things pretty sporadic with plowing and we're having a lousy winter. We're about a month behind on snow right now. So anyways, yeah, there's your rundown on a high boy. So now I'm gonna, uh, Hop in this thing and do a cold start. My hand's already getting pretty cold. I think it's about 14 or 15 degrees right now. Not super cold, but colder than when I started it the other day. And that's another thing. If you guys want to see it, leave in the comments below what you want to see. It's like I said, I won't be doing much work to this truck until spring, early summer, when I have a steadier cash flow. But if you want to see, of course, we're having a lousy winter. But if you want to see it, I will come out here someday when it's at least zero, if not negative something. And I'll try to start this thing up. And I can maybe potentially also start the old skidder. She usually starts fairly good. Got the old bucket loader. I don't know, maybe I can cold start my lawnmowers or something like that. So if you want to see cold starts, I can make a few of those. And I'm also going to get the GoPro on my head take a couple snowmobile rides and like I said I've got a snowmobile engine uh, 800 HO that needs rebuilt and I've got the 360 that originally lived in this truck that I should work on so I got a bunch of different stuff going on let me know down below what you want and I'll still probably make a video of everything but I'll prior prioritize a few things first so yeah please like and subscribe if you like this sort of thing and just let me know what you want to see down below now, without further ado, I gotta get my keys out of the taco here, and we're gonna do about a 15 degree cold start on the old Ford. My key ring is a sin. I have a Toyota key, a stupid Chevy key, and a Ford key living all next to each other. Now, I'm gonna show you how to break into my truck because I still haven't fixed the door. Oh, that's cold. Gonna take my coat off so I can fit. And you just reach in and pop the door. So I know the oil and everything's good from when I just started this truck. A little while ago and I'm not gonna let it run too long so I'm gonna give you an inside shot 
and I'm not even gonna clear the snow off from it. So we'll push the clutch in just because it turns over so hard when it's cold. Just give it a little less resistance. And the uh, fuel pump usually always loses its prime after a week or two of sitting. So I'm just gonna roll the engine over a little bit to turn the mechanical fuel pump. Oh, she sounds kind of cold. Now hopefully that primed us up. Just pump the daylights out of her. Give it just a little bit. Oh, she wants it, but she's slow. We might need a boost from the Toyota. <laughs> we'll give her hell so she don't need a boost. What a beaut. Just like that, she idles. Here it almost stalled just when the clutch comes out. So I kept it in, it would have turned over twice as hard. <laughs> Started right up though, and she idles good. Didn't have to give it a boost with the Toyota. Oh yeah, and another thing. Let me know down below. I'm not gonna beat on this gold girl too hard. I know she's not prime, but I love this thing. But, I will smoke those military tires so let me know if that might be something you're interested in I mean this one's pretty much already shot it just burns one tire fire anyways I guess most of these are in pretty bad shape yeah even they're all pretty much all the same that one has a little bit of side lug on it that's about it It'll just get one tire fire anyways. I'll put it on a board or something. I'll smoke one off. They're not in very good shape as you can see. This one actually has tread on it too and I think it's the worst. But yeah, give me a thumbs up. Let me know down below what you would like to see future. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one.